Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a MacBook. This is a MacBook Pro, the model is an A1398. This is an Intel processor iCore 7 4750HQ, a 2013 model, 15 inch. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a step-by-step -step how you can open it up and how you can remove the battery or replace the battery. I was gonna wait to make the video once I got the new battery, but lots of people keep asking me, rushing me to show you how to do the replacement, even if I just show you guys how to, because you guys can just replace it. All right, I'm gonna, I'll leave the link, compatible batteries in the video description in case you wanna purchase yours and the tools that I'll use to do this process. Everything will be linked in the uh, description. All right, tool number one is an iFixit screwdriver set as they have all the bits you, you need to do the service. You are gonna use a P5, uh, not a Torque 5, this is a Torque, you're gonna use a Torque 5 and a P5. For the bottom power screws, we're gonna use a P5 screw bit. I'll put this on for the focusing. All the screws, in not, the, not all the screws on the bottom cover are the same. Two screws in the back mid, these are a little bit different. They have a little, the, all the threads on them, they're all the way to the back. So keep these two screws on a separate pile. Don't mix them. And now the rest of the screws, they are the same. So remove them. They have a little, the threads only go halfway through. So remove these screws, all of them, and keep them in a separate piles. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and support the channel to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once you remove the bottom screws, now we're gonna lift up the power, put it to one side, and we can see the battery is right in here. This battery, it is kind of inflated. I can just see that, feel it. You can feel it's not flat. This one is flat, but these two, these corners are really bulgy. So we, uh, I don't have mine right now to replace it, but I'm gonna show you guys how to remove this label right there to disconnect it, pull this cover upward. We're gonna grab ourselves the torque number five. We are gonna remove one screw right in there and one screw right on the opposite side. Once we remove these two, we can see that the whole thing is coming off. This battery is being held down by an adhesive. To blend that adhesive, you need to put lots of alcohol on the grooves and the fumes from the alcohol will penetrate and will blend the adhesive for the, the adhesive for the uh, batteries. So they are kind of really tough to pull them out. You can see even from here, you can pull them out. They have a little strips. You can put an adhesive, but they have this flaps thing. You can pull these ones out. But again, the battery connectors are right in here. So you, you wanna just plunge it right in there. You can use a bigger opening tools, like a card and stuff like that to redirect the alcohol right under. So I'm gonna put an alcohol right on top of here. I'm gonna force it right in there. And it's gonna do its job. There we go. So the first one is out. Yep, the first adhesive is out. Now we're gonna do the second one. So this is how you gotta do it. So this one is pretty much loosened up. So you wanna work yourself on the second one. Gently bring it up, ply it up. And that one is gone too. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know why they do this. So much hassle. And then you want to do this left side and right side. There we go. That one is out too. You need to move to the next one. 
I don't know why they don't do it like any PC version, or Windows version, laptops. They just put any screw and that's it. Make life easier. So just is probably applying it up easily, gently. There we go. So all those adhesive on the bottom. Those are the double-sided tape. You can put a double-sided tape. That's what they are, pretty much. You can see it right in here. It's just a blown up double-sided tape. Now, same thing for the middle ones in here. Be gentle with it a little bit. There we go. One more out. We got a little more to go. Only one more to go. You need lots of alcohol to put it in there. I'm going to hold it like this. I'll put the alcohol in there. I'm going to put this card in there. You can use a metallic one a little bit. So use a metallic if you have one, and now we can pull all the batteries out, slide them out from here, and there we have it. All this club batteries, one, two, three, four, five, six cell batteries in here. You can put them on the side. Use an alcohol to clean up this adhesive. You can purchase yourself double-sided tape. And you can put it right in here, new fresh ones. And once you're done with putting it, clean it up. You can just grab the new battery. As I, I said, I don't have my new battery with me right now. It comes just like this. And what you want to do, you want to slide it first under these two screw heads. And once you have it in there, you want to align it straight right in there and then you want to put this cover right over and then you want to put these two screws that hold this board on here and to finish it off is to put the bottom cover right over just remember you need to put the adhesives on otherwise it's going to just make a sound in there and it's just going to be wobbling all over the place okay to finish up i'm just going to put it and i'm not going to put the new one in here because I don't have it. So once I get it in the next few days, I'll open it and I'll put the new one in. But you guys got the idea. Just put a double sided adhesive. When you purchase the new one, they do actually give you sometimes the double sided adhesive tape. But if not, you can purchase yours. I'll put a link in the video description. Where I put this? I don't like to put in this one in because if you get a double sided adhesive, put a little bit in here so it stays sticks on top of here. Otherwise, it's just going to go to the fan. So I'm going to leave it out for now. And I'll put the cover just like now. Let's say you have it in here. What you want to do, you want to just put the cover right over. And it's very important right now. We're going to switch it back to P5. You want to grab the corner screws first. And you don't want to put them all the way in. You just want to reach them a little bit. Don't put them hard. So because it's going to shift the board and the cover to one side. So cross screw them slowly first don't put them all the way in and once you have all the screws in and then you can come back and tighten up the screws that way you don't deform the bottom cover that's very important also regarding the new battery once you have the new batteries in you do not want to power on right away you want to connect the charger while it's off and let it charge two to three hours or three to four hours after that you want to power on the laptop without the charger plugged in and you want to discharge the battery slowly. Don't put any heavy load. Once it's discharged all the way down, power it off and leave it charging again for three to four hours. After that, you can use it as you wish. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important for the new batteries. And you should be doing that once every couple of months to, do the, to keep the health of the battery at its best peak performance. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to replace your battery for your MacBook Pro Model A1398. If you have any questions or comments, 
please feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.